Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Uh, welcome back to my channel, my loves. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. You know mama's got your back, at least where makeup's concerned. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing this super, super fun... I was feeling the vibes today. I was feeling the vibes. I've, it feels very summery to me. It's kind of deep and dark and smoky and mysterious. And I love the color combo and we're just going to dive right into it. I was looking at, um, I was on Pinterest with Sean and we were looking at like, uh, like cartoon pictures I don't know but I saw uh this cup this picture of a what was it a oh my gosh goodness it was like a dragon fruit puppy or something I don't know it was absolutely adorable I think it was a dragon fruit dalmatian anyway it's what inspired this look uh I just thought the pink and the green and kind of like the neon smokiness would be super super cute so that's what we're doing. We're going to be using the Big B Perfect uh, Vivian Scepter Palette. I love this palette. Uh, this palette was sent to be sent to me by one of my absolute beautiful, lovely, amazing subscribers. I love her so, so much. Uh, you guys, everything you send me is always so welcomed and so appreciated and touches my heart more than you will ever, ever know. Uh, cause I would definitely never buy this for myself. This is a pretty expensive palette and you guys know I am a drugstore girl, but it's beautiful. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning palette. Uh, so it opens up and this is the color story. Uh, you've got just about every color in here that you could ever possibly need. You've also got a blush, a contour, two highlights, and I love that you get a really big black and a really big white. They come so, so in handy. It's, it's kind of perfect. Uh, we're going to be sticking to mostly these pinks down here and this green, and then we're going to use uh, the black shade, of course, and some of the highlight shades. But uh, I know both of these pinks look very, very similar in the pan. Uh, but the difference is one of them is warmer and one of them is cooler. We're actually going to be using both of them at different points in the process. Uh, there's going to be a lot of blending going on with this look uh, just because we're trying to blend a pink, a black into a pink. And that just takes time. So uh, do not forget that there's that little 10 second, 20 seconds, however long fast forward button. So if at any point you get bored, because I'm sure it'll happen, if at any point you get a, get bored, just kind of speed forward just a little bit. I'm going to run my mouth as I usually do uh, through these videos and kind of talk about my life. So if you're into that, uh, let's get to it, shall we? <laughs> I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow primer. I've already got that on, but I'm using my NYX Ultimate uh, Shadow and Limer, Limer, Liner Primer. I love this stuff. It is so good. I use mine in the shade Medium. I didn't realize they had like shades actually. I thought it was all just kind of like the same shade, but I use mine in the shade medium. It's right there. I love it. Excuse my nails. They are at the point now where they're just kind of uh, popping off and doing their own thing. So we're going to ignore how crappy they look and um, <laughs> I'll do them again here eventually. I just have to wait till enough of them pop off so I can find the willpower and the strength to sit there and soak the rest of them off. I'm going to go in first with a, so this is a super, super cheap brush I got off of uh, Sheen. So Sheen, they do clothing, they do makeup, they do all kinds of really, really cool stuff. Uh, but I got this in a set of like 12 brushes. I think it was like $3. Uh, most of the brushes suck, but some of the bl blending brushes are actually pretty nice. Uh, they're synthetic fibers, but the problem I have with them, especially like uh, this one and uh, this one, the fibers do not hold on to the actual product, so they don't, it doesn't stick to the brush long enough to get it to your eye. It's super, super annoying, and I've wasted a lot of product trying to figure out how to make them work, but a couple of them actually do work. I find that the brushes with the darker bristles work better, so there's that. I also got this set, uh, which was $1.50, I believe, and it came with five brushes, and these are actually fantastic. So just stick to the smaller brush sets and I think you'll be all right. Uh, so going in with this one, this is just like kind of a fluffy angled brush, and we're gonna go into the shade Pink Lady. So this one right here. Now you can see right here that this one has a little bit more of like a warm undertone, and this one is definitely more like, uh, like a blue pink. So we're gonna go in with the blue pink because that's gonna be easier to blend in with the black. And I'm just gonna go in and really pack it around my eye in a nice rounded shape Starting on my outer corner. 
I'm just going to pack it right into the lower transition of my eye. Just like that. If you guys see uh, glitter or sparkles all over my face, it would be because I just did... I just did a collaboration because you guys know I got accepted onto a PR team, which I'm so stoked about. I am so in, I'm so in love. I'm so in love with makeup anyway. And the fact that uh, my talent was rec recognized enough to be asked to be become part of a team really just kind of gets my, you know, gets my goat, gets my motor running. And I'm, I'm so happy. I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm blessed. I'm all of those things. Uh, but I just did a collab with my PR team. And I can't post it yet because I have to wait for them to post it first and then I'll post it for you guys. But I am so excited. It turned out so, so cute. Uh, I think uh, it's it was a super, super artistic look. And you guys know I am totally into like makeup, but I don't do artistic stuff super, super like a ton. So you want to talk about like nervous because I can't even talk about it. But it was I had, I, I had to do a flower. I'll give you guys that much. So I had to do a flower and like a representation of, so I had to do a whole face, right? And I had to, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not an artist. I don't have any training. I don't have any makeup training either. I just have like ded dedicated myself to makeup for the last, I don't, I don't know, year, really trying to learn as much as I possibly could um, and really make myself as good as I possibly can be. But my lack of training really just kind of comes to bite me in the hiney, especially when I have to do those artistic looks. But when I tell you, I was so proud of how it came out. I was so happy with the way that everything kind of like came together. And it's difficult to do those artistic looks when you don't have the mediums that you wish you did. Lord knows that what I need so badly are some of those colored bases from like P. Louise. I'm trying to find some that are just a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, cost effective. So I know that Beauty Creations does some as well, but they're still expensive. And like right now, I just can't. Uh, so I found some on Amazon that were dirt cheap and, and perform, perform that way. They're not terrible, but they're not great. And I, when I tell you, when I had, when I took that look off, I had to use glitter and, uh, I had to, oh, my whole face was covered with glitter, with, uh, those bases. And when I tell you, I went to go scrub my face off. Like, I literally had to scrub my face off. Those bases, <laughs> they stained my skin <laughs> so badly. I was like, and like, it was my whole face, guys. <laughs> so I'm sitting there looking at the mirror and like my face is like this bright pink color and not even like rosy flush pink color. No, it was like clown pink, like red. And I was, I was panicking. I was panicking. So I sat there for a good 20 minutes and thank the Lord. I had a good makeup remover balm, but even that wasn't really doing the trick. So I ended up having to use my makeup remover balm, and then I also had to use uh, Bliss, uh, which is a drugstore brand. Uh, Bliss makes this makeup melter. Um, it's not a balm per se, it's more like a, like a gel kind of thing. And I ended up having to put that on a cotton round and just like soak my face. Like I had to paste <laughs> cotton rounds all over my face and kind of soak that makeup off. It came off in the end eventually. But when I tell you my face was so sore for like days after that, I'm not even playing with you. Cause I legitimately had to sit there and like scrub, scrub my face off, but it came off. But that's why I haven't posted anything like super makeup -y here recently and like makeup videos, like tutorials, cause my face has been so sore. And then after that, because I scrubbed my face so hard, I was like peeling and I had like dry skin everywhere, which is never cute. The hazards of makeup, but I tell you what, it was so much fun. I can't wait to post it and see what you guys have to say about it. I'm actually pretty, pretty uh, proud of myself. So I'm taking this e.l.f. eye crease brush. This is just kind of a fluffy detail blending brush. And I'm going into the shade Abyss, which is that really beautiful deep black shade. And I'm just taking that all the way through my crease. And then onto the inner corner of my eye as well, kind of mapping out like a halo eye. 
I'm going to kind of stretch my eye just a little bit because I got wrinkly eyelids and I want everything to be nice and even. And I don't want to be blinking at somebody and then uh, my eyelids or my wrinkles kind of smooth out and then you see bald patches. I hate that. I try very hard not to let that happen. But I will tell you that this black is absolutely so beautiful. Super intense, super pigmented, fully saturated with pigment. It's really, really a great black. Um, I don't think that it blends out uh, the best, which is, you know, slightly unfortunate. I mean, I can get it to blend. It's just not the easiest thing to get to move around. But I can kind of deal with that just because it's so super saturated and really is so, so pretty. I'm just taking little bits at a time and kind of stamping that onto my uh, onto my eye and through my crease. And then I'm going to go in with a slightly bigger brush. I'm going to use this one. This is this is a no brand. I got this at Burks in a set of like four or five different brushes. Um they don't say the brand or the name on them. And unfortunately, I didn't keep the box. Uh, but it's just a kind of large, fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to go back into that pink color. So that pink color we used. And I'm going to tap just a little bit into the black. I'm going to go into the black first. Just one tap. Because they're not super hard packed. Uh, so they do come off with a nice amount of pigment. And then I'm going to go back into that pink shade. And kind of load up my brush a little bit. And we're going to start going to town, uh, trying to blend this out. Like I said, this is probably going to take a minute because the colors are so, so different. And getting them to fade into each other is going to be a little bit of a pain in the hiney. But that just gives us time to talk while I sit here and blend my life away. Uh, so Sean and I just did, if you guys didn't catch... My last video, Sean guest starred again. I tell you what, I always have the best time filming with him. For the most part, he's a little bit of a turd. Well, a lot of a lot of bit of a turd. He's a big he's a big giant turd actually. <laughs> uh, but he has his moments where he wants to like be with me and like film with me. So we filmed and we just announced a new giveaway. We're giving away he. He took it so seriously, guys. I let him pick uh, what we were giving away. And he ended up picking a really, really great uh, kind of giveaway combo. He picked a uh, ColourPop palette. So the ColourPop li Lilac You A Lot palette. Along with a couple of the NYX Epic Wear Liner Sticks. You guys know that I love those things. I use them continuously. I love them so, so much. Check my bat wings. Make sure my stuff's not moving anywhere it's not supposed to be um so he picked two epic wear liner sticks he picked the lilac you a lot palette and then he also picked a really beautiful mask when i tell you this boy is into skincare he is into skincare he sits here with me every night because i do i have both a, a nighttime and a morning a skincare routine and he doesn't really care about the morning time stuff but he is all for nighttime skincare and one of his favorite masks is this organic hemp oil mask. Uh, it's like an overnight mask. So it's one of those that you just kind of smear all over your face and uh, you, you go to sleep. But it's aromatherapy too. So it smells so delicious and so yummy. It's yummy. It's like lavender and lilac. So it's like super calming and just like zen, you know. So he loves that thing. And he was like, Mom, we have to. Uh, he, he is the one who decided to do like the purple theme to the giveaway so it's super super cute uh but we ended up filming the video uh for the giveaway and when i tell y'all he is so adorable he just makes my little heart flutter i love it so so much it's the moments like that and we're blended we have darkened up the pink considerably but we're gonna go back in to that super cheapy brush we're gonna dip back into that pink color we're just gonna kind of freshen up the pink Bring a little bit of the color back. And it looks beautifully blended. We're also going to clean up this kind of corner because I don't want it to be quite so angled. But I really like how the black kind of fades into the pink. It's still pink without being like super pink. 
and it's nice and dark and mysterious and so so pretty and it really is beautifully blended out that line has completely disappeared it's really really nice uh but yeah we had a blast filming that video if you guys haven't entered the giveaway yet there's still time the giveaway is going to go on until the 4th of march so please do guys i know at this point in time uh money for makeup is probably not you know the first place money is going uh, the economy is not great right now so free palettes free makeup is free makeup and it's Shawnee Bear picked a really, really good package. So I'm super excited for her for whoever ends up winning. Um, but we filmed and he won't watch the video because he thinks he's cringe. Now I know that's a super big word that everybody is talking about uh right now, but I just kind of don't get it. I think he is absolutely just the most adorable thing ever. And he just cannot stand to look at himself. It is so crazy to see him get to a point where, like, he's self-aware and, like, he's aware of how he looks and, like, he cares. Because 99% of the time, like, I love my son. And he has got a, you know, I wear Walmart clothes so that boy can wear, like, Abercrombie and Fitch and American Eagle and all that good stuff. I am okay with Walmart clothes. Walmart clothes are great, right? But my son's not going to, you know, my son rocks name brand stuff because he deserves that, right? so and 90 percent of the time he doesn't care that boy will go out of the house in a bright green pair of sweatpants and a uh i don't know a, a he just he doesn't care about matching he just doesn't care most of the time right but when it comes to seeing himself like on camera he's just i can't he just can't do it he just can't do it and i think it's so funny and actually kind of sad because he's so beautiful and so special to me I don't want him to ever like see himself as anything other so I think that we have a little bit of work to do on uh self-image with him just a little bit but he's so adorable <laughs> he is so adorable it just makes my little heart just oh, do funny things Anyway, I'm going to go into another one of those brushes from Sheen. Uh, this is at, from the Good Set, though. This is just a flat packing brush, and it's slightly angled, It's but it's a flat packing brush. And we're going to go into the shade Cotton Candy. Now, there are a few color combinations that I love in this world more than pink and peach together. So we're going to go into this really beautiful peachy Cotton Candy shade right here. And we're going to use this to kind of blend out our upper edge. It's going to reinforce that pink shade, and I'm going to take it all the way through here. I'm going to take it into kind of the inner corner of my eye to help brighten up this area just a little bit and kind of reinforce that pinky tone. But then I'm also going to take it just above the line of the pink as well and blend out this line a little bit more. And y'all don't have to take it up as high as I do, but I like a nice, bold eye look. So I'm taking it all the way up. To my eyebrow. I'm going to kind of blend it into the side out here. Again, just to reinforce that really beautiful pinky tone. And I want my outer edge to be nice and messy and smoky. This is not like a super perfect eye look. It's not intended to be. It's neat where it needs to be, and it's kind of smudgy where it needs to be smudgy. I'm gonna clean up just a little bit of this out here. And then I'm also gonna take this just a little bit on my inner corner and kind of clean up a little bit of this in here. Sorry, I'm looking down and y'all can't see what I'm doing. Just a little bit like that because we're going to put uh, a highlight shade there. And I want the highlight to be nice and bright. So I'm going to get as much of that deep, dark kind of black residue off as I can. Just like that. It is, it's really just three colors. It's super, super simple, but really beautiful. High impact, low effort. You guys know we're all about that here. And now for like one of the best parts, I'm going to take the same brush. And I'm going to go into the shade 
uh, blinding, which is this really, really beautiful, this one, really, really beautiful, kind of like taupey highlight color. And I'm going to take it with the same brush that we did the pink. And this is an all matte eye look. So I'm only going to put just a touch right underneath the highest point of my arch. Just to bring a little bit of light to the party, but not much more than that. I really think that the highlights in this palette are so insane. They're so beautifully pigmented. I'm also going to put a little bit, like I said, on my inner corner. And I'm going to bring that through on my lower lash line. I like a really nice, heavy, heavy highlight. But I'm going to bring it on my lower lash line again just to bring as much light back to the eye look as I can. And it is going to dull down with time, just like this one has dulled down. This one was just as, as intense as this one was. So I really like to go nice and hard with it and then let it dull down naturally, just like it always does. We're going to take our finger now. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to take our finger now and we're going to go into this color waste this really beautiful bright green like noxious toxic sludge shade one of my favorite favorite tones ever and we're just going to take it on our finger and we're going to start patting that on now i know that it's fairly odd to use your finger for a matte shade but I really find, especially with shades like this that are super, super neon, I find that you get the most color payoff when you use your finger, just like with any kind of shimmer shadow. And it's makeup, guys. There's no rules. You do whatever makes you feel good and whatever looks good for you. And I'm just going to kind of tap that on. Right in that bald spot we created. And because I'm using my finger and not a brush, it's going to blend in to those edges really kind of organically. And it's going to stay nice and bright. And again, it's going to be one of those like messy but clean kind of things where you're kind of blurring the line between super neat and super messy. And I think it's so just interesting to look at when you do things like that. It gives it such an organic shape and it is so, so beautiful. And I love the contrast of this like deep, dark, like blacky pink, like inky, inky darkness. And then you've got this bright pop of this vivid, like toxic green sludge on the eyelid. And I think it just makes such a big, big, like such a big impact. It is so, so pretty. And again, this look has only taken me, if I wasn't talking, probably would have only taken me 10 minutes to do. The hardest part of this whole look is going to be the blending of the black into the pink. And once you get your blending techniques down, like it, it really is just so quick. It just goes by like nothing. And then for the bottom, sweep away a little bit of fallout. And then for the bottom lash line, I want to go in with something a little bit different. So I'm going to use an e.l.f. smudge brush. This is, yeah, this is the e.l.f. smudge. So it's just kind of like a flat kind of brush, a thin flat brush. And I'm going to go into this really beautiful blue toned gray. It's called uh, Sylvia. So this one right here. Now you wouldn't think that this look would kind of mesh with everything we've got going on, but it is so pretty on the lower lid and it really kind of translates into almost a blue color and it is so, so pretty. I feel like if you were to put like a green or a pink or something on the lower lid, I really feel like it would detract from everything we've got going on up top. And I really don't want to do that. I really want the, the kind of like spotlight effect to really be the star of the show. So starting at my inner corner, and I'm going to kind of blend this gray in with the highlight we've got going on. So everything meshes together really, really well. And I'm going to do a really light kind of blend on that lower lash line. I'm going to make sure to connect that outer corner. 
but because it's such a beautiful light like light toned gray and it's got that little bit of blue to it it really meshes with everything else we've got going on but it doesn't make the lower lash line too dark and I feel like if we made it too dark it would take this from being something super interesting and a different to being just another like smudgy smoky eye and that's not really what I wanted even though there is a time and a place for that I am all for the smudgy smoky like black inky eye love that it's just not what I was going for today and I think that this gray is a perfect compliment to this eye look of course we're going to go in and we're going to do a black line so I'm going to use a I've actually been loving this profusion black eyeliner I just I got this in a set like in a box set from Pro profusion I got at Burke's it's just a black old school wooden eyeliner and I'm going to can't talk and do my eyeliner at the same time. I run a serious risk of stabbing myself in the eye. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to line both my upper and lower water lines. Sean and I just got done reading a book. We are super, super big on reading every night before bed. It's something we've been doing since he was like a baby baby and we've just continued to do it it's one of his favorite parts of the day one of my favorite parts of the day too because we just get to be together without the arguing and the moaning and the groaning just doing something we both enjoy together uh but we just got done reading the last book in the uh mockingbird series uh the hunger games series it's called mockingjay oh my goodness of course we've all seen the movies But there's just something about the literature version, like the actual paper version. I feel like they can just, you get so much more out of it. Like you get so many different perspectives because there's only so much they can show in like a two hour movie, right? But in the book, they're not, there's no limitations. So you get different perspectives and you can see, like you can kind of get glimpses into what everybody's thinking and you get inner monologues from different characters and you get more backstory on certain characters that you wouldn't have, you know, you, that you didn't get in the book. And it's been so, so nice. So we finally finished that uh, Friday when he got home from school. And we're going to start the book report tomorrow. He, uh, His book reports, I remember back in the day when we had to do book reports, they were always like, um, we had to do like a full on book report, like, like paper copies and everything. But now his book reports are just like slideshows basically with information. So we're going to start doing the slides tomorrow when he gets home from school. It's not due till the 1st of March, but I like to get it done uh, early because you wouldn't believe the amount of like actual anxiety uh, it causes. Like when he knows that he's got a, a report due and it's not done so I really kind of have to stay on his hiney and really make sure that he gets everything done but he always feels so much better uh, when everything is done early and like on time just ugh. and he always gets and he enjoyed this book this time so I really think that he's gonna really like go for uh, the book report and really enjoy doing the book report because he really enjoyed reading this book I tell you what if you guys haven't read that book it's definitely something that I really think that you would, would enjoy. Uh, and it was a nice departure from the Goosebumps books. Though I love the Goosebumps books, because uh, that's what we read for the most part. Uh, though I really, really do enjoy them. I thought that this was a nice little change change of pace uh, from them. And it was just, it was so involved and just a really, really good read. I'm going to go in now with my Maybelline. This is the Total Temptation waterproof uh, version. And I'm just going to put a quick layer on my upper and lower lashes and then we'll talk about the uh the lipstick of course I'm going to pair it with a pink lip because ugh, I can't do anything else you could definitely put a nude with this and it would be beautiful as well I'm just going to take it super super loud I've been thinking about doing a video uh, because I just did, I, a little while back, I did a nudes video on my favorite drugstore nudes. And I've been thinking about doing a video on my favorite 
like weird colored lipsticks because you guys know I have a ton. I love a good statement lip. It's one of my favorite things in the world to do. Um, I know a lot of people usually pair a statement lip with like a really, really low key eye so that the lips are the focus. But I enjoy <clears throat> loud eye makeup so much. I usually go for like a really bold eye and then pair it with like a really out there lipstick and I just feel like it looks so editorial it just looks so it looks so different and nine nine times out of ten that's what I'm shooting for when I'm doing my makeup is I want to you know distinguish myself I want to step out from the crowd and really do something that's different and unique but still super attainable and super wearable and not a ton of fuss. And I think I accomplish it most of the time. But if any of y'all know of a super fantastic yellow lipstick, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear y'all's recommendations because I do have a yellow lipstick uh, from Colored Rain that I absolutely adore. But unfortunately, it's more of like a like golden mustard than it is a canary yellow. And I just saw, I talked about this in my last video, but I'm going to talk about it again because I want it so, so badly. Uh, Morphe just came out with a collection with uh, Nyani. Nyani, I think is her name. I think I'm saying that correctly, but they just came out and they have a uh, lipstick collection, like a lipstick set of three different lipsticks. And there's this really beautiful, like bright magenta pink. And then there is a perfect looking, absolutely perfect looking canary yellow lipstick. When I tell you I want it so bad, I don't know what to do with myself. Like I'm just kind of foaming at the mouth for it. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping it goes on sale eventually, but it looks like the most perfect, perfect yellow lipstick and then not only that but it's a it's like a bullet lipstick a bullet lipstick so, oh, which makes it even better I want to get my hands on it so so badly I uh I am not the world's biggest fan of the Morphe lipstick, bullet lipstick formula. I actually have a green one from them. And I don't think it's the most full coverage, like, I don't think it's the world's best formula. The green one that I own is slightly patchy. It's not very long wearing and it just kind of like, it likes to move a lot on me, which I'm not a huge fan of, but for a bright yellow lipstick, I would like, I would deal with it anyway. If it was the right color, you know, just a really beautiful, bright, bold, electric yellow lipstick. I am so, so here for it. So I just used, this is the L'Oreal. Uh, th these are the liquid lipsticks. I always forget the name of these but this is what the packaging looks like. They have a matte version of this and a glossy version of this. I love these things. Not only is the packaging A+, plus, super chic, super beautiful, but they feel so comfortable on the lips, super, super lightweight, extremely long wearing. Uh, and I love the glossiness. This does dry down completely, but it keeps that like glossy shine to it that gives your lips that like juicy kind of plumped up look. Uh, it's not super opaque, but it is opaque enough to where it really goes on and really just kind of gives you that beautiful kind of berry, just kind of just bitten kind of look that I love so, so much. It is so, so pretty. I paired that with one of, with one of the NYX uh, lip liners. Is this the suede or regular? Yeah, so this is the suede matte lip liner in the shade Sweet Tooth. It is an absolutely beautiful berry toned lip liner. Uh, these two go perfectly with the, uh, together. They complement each other perfectly. On top of that, I'm going to go in with just one thing else because I'm extra like that. Uh, and this is new and I haven't tried it yet. This is the Milani Flora Tinted Lip Balm. Um, I think I'm going to try this on top uh, just because I think it's a really pretty color and I think it would go with today's look really well. I'm just going to put this right in the center of my lips. It smells really, really good. 
it feels really really nice on my lips it almost feels it's very very like slippy uh, it feels almost like an oil and a gloss kind of mixture because it's a little bit thick but it's really really slippy it's not sticky at all it smells really good it smells like berries oh that's really really nice I like that so this is the look today what do we think? Do we like it? Do we love it? Would we wear it? Let me know in the comments below. I am so in love with it. I think it is so, so pretty. It's really kind of like fresh. I feel like it mixes like winter and summer vibes together because it's like deep and dark and mysterious. But then you've got that hint of green, kind of like spring is coming. You've got that hint of green poking through all of that deep, dark mysteriousness. And I am here for it. It is so, so pretty. I am going to, of course, finish my base. Y'all know how to do your base. Let me know if there's anything uh, you guys would like me to film in that regard. If you'd like me to do another in-depth base tutorial. I know I just did one with contour, but I could totally talk about bronzers and blushes and all of that good stuff. Just let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see from me. Um... And yeah, that's going to be about it for today. Of course, I'm going to do my base and then I'll be posting finished pics over on my Facebook page, Makeup for the Everyday Mama. I will have the link for that in the description box below, along with everything that I used in today's video. Uh, so be, uh, be sure to check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. I would super, super appreciate it. And guys, yeah, that's just about it for today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your beautiful Sunday. And I hope Monday is all right for you. I know Mondays suck for everybody, but I do still hope that you survive yours intact and sound of mind because I know that's always a struggle for me. <laughs> I love you so, so much. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And remember, you're important. Bye.